Okay, so back to our calculations. What we have then is 138 minutes for our second one and 130 minutes for our first one. So adding those two together, 130 plus 138, that would be 8, 6, 268 minutes, which will then equal 268 nautical miles. Okay, so that's the first way, is dividing up the line into two segments, or as many segments as you need to measure on the scale. The second way of doing it, which is the way that most traditional navigation will do, would be to, instead of measure the distance, is to measure a degree or a certain amount. So in other words, let's set our dividers to one whole degree. So for this, we need to be fairly accurate. Okay, so that is one degree or 60 minutes. And what we want to do is step out along our line, 60 minute blocks. So that's 60. That to there is 120. And that is 180. And that is 240. Okay. So finally, we've got 240 plus, let's bring our dividers down to get that last measure. 240 plus that gap. So let's just write that down over here. So that's 240 we got from stepping out, plus this gap. So let's work out what that gap is. From eight minutes down to, it looks like it's almost exactly on a 30 minute mark. So that would actually be 30 minutes, that distance there. So we have 240 plus 30 is 270 minutes which is 270 nautical miles, okay? Our first measure by dividing it means that there's only two areas for error to, to occur, and we had 268 nautical miles. This one, we had four step outs of um, 60 minutes, so that's four possibilities for error, plus the final measure, so five possibilities for error. But still, we're actually within a margin of about 1% between the two. So that's not too bad of an error. So of the two, I possibly would expect this one to be a little bit more accurate, but both of them would, would be acceptable. 